Our families and ancestors were on the river for thousands of years. We have a 12,000 year old village site on the Stillaguamish. Our life is river people, and that's what Stillaguamish translates to from the Shootsie to English, Stillaguamish, people of the river. You know, back in the 80s, we, we saw a rapid decline of our Chinook due to a lot of habitat loss. We just shut our fishery down completely. We had just over 60 fishermen. We're down to five. And a lot of those fishermen were, you know, elderly. And so when they pass on, we, lo we lose that traditional knowledge that they carried. The Chinook was vital to our culture. It was vital to the health of our people and the health of the river as well. If kids aren't working with their parents and their, and their grandparents, cleaning salmon and preparing salmon, that gap is hard to recover, really hard to recover. You know, they may hear the stories, but the salmon doesn't become a very important part of their life if they're not fishing. If it isn't important to them, then they won't fight for it. Her ancestors signed the treaty. They made sacrifices for us to have the salmon. To forget the things that they passed on, you lose your heritage. You lose all those gifts that come with it. It's forgetting who they are. It's forgetting who we are as a people. For our culture, for our fishermen, for our tribe and our Chinook, extinction is not an option. As a tribal leader, as a father, you know, I've got a responsibility to work with our kids. And if it means we only have one child that wants to fish, I've got to do everything I can to make sure that child hopefully will be the spark. We're taking the kids out on the river this year. They'll get to see what it's like to set the nets. They'll be able to see what it takes to do a drift set. And then they'll get to see what it's like to pull the nets, to be there. That's the connection that hopefully triggers an interest in our kids that, hey, I want to do this again. I would love to see our kids just get the excitement that I get. I'd love to say I was successful in the work that I do to bring our fisheries back so our, our future generations can have an economy on salmon and our culture is rich again in celebrating that the salmon are coming back and the, the stories have more meaning because the salmon are there. You know, I want to explain, this is, your hair, this is your identity right here. This salmon gave us life to feed you, to feed our community, and this is what we're losing. We need to thank the salmon because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the salmon.